right, everybody. Welcome back. Back at it today. Brennan from Honda of Keen. Yes, sir. And uh, today we are in the 2024 Honda Accord Hybrid EXL. Right off the bat, much bigger than the Civic. Definitely at gonna least, get yeah. a fair amount of leg space and definitely something your rear passengers are gonna appreciate. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a lot more room back there and this center console is definitely a lot bigger too. Everything's a little bit more spaced out. Yeah, definitely a comfortable amount of trunk space in the back. The rear seats are gonna be able to drop down, give you that nice pass-through storage as well. Definitely a comfortable amount of space in the Accord. We are in the hybrid, so it has a hybrid motor along with an inline four-cylinder engine, um, automatic transmission, and total combined horsepower is right around 200 and four horsepower. Now with the hybrid, you get some some pretty cool stuff, uh, Brennan. Yeah, definitely. Um, you're gonna get the basically the E mode or EV mode, which is gonna let you run off purely that battery with all the power you have stored up in there. And there's a couple different ways you kind of get that power. You're gonna get it just through driving, you know, the gas motor working with the hybrid. We also get these deceleration paddles on the back of the steering wheel. Yeah. Which you're gonna be able to kind of adjust the amount of braking force the car is gonna have to help you recuperate more or less power to that battery. So that's what they're called as deceleration paddles, not paddle shifters. Correct, okay. yeah. <laughs> now we do have your normal uh, like leather wrap shift knob. Uh, we do have, what, four yep. drive modes in this? So you're gonna have normal, econ, sport, and individual, which I'm assuming is you can just customize. Exactly. Your on here you can see it's kind of the same layout as the crv hybrid yeah um you get to see all the power going back to the wheels on that the fully digital display so we're gonna take it right off of that you do get the fully digital display it's not the half one that we got exactly like and stuff <laughs> um and you get a really nice 12.3 inch touchscreen display yeah the screen actually looks amazing too and it's it has big. a mini split in it too so like on that far right side you can have like your radio station showing um, just a little like digital or analog clock. And you can also have that power flow show over there. Yep. In case you want some di different information up here at your fingertips. And I always recommend to people to, you know, on at least one of your screens, have the power flow showing. So you kind of get to know how the hybrid system in your new car works. This does have regenerative braking. So it's going to take the power from the brakes and kind of recycle it back into the battery. Yep. Fully leather interior in the EXL. Yeah, and we get seats. memory position seating for the driver, which is always handy if you're going to have multiple people sharing the vehicle. And the nice thing about it, too, is everyone's used to having the electrical adjustment seats, and even the passengers. We get, get the that. passenger electric seats. Heated seats in this. Yep. Um, now, but look, a little change. We don't have the honeycomb um, in this one. It's more of like a diamond shape but it still looks pretty good yeah and it kind of makes the accord stand out a little bit from the rest of the herd <laughs> plenty of charging ports the usb-c charging ports scattered everywhere um and we also get my personal favorite feature in every car i'll ever be in the sunroof <laughs> gotta have a sunroof since we are in a car we're a little bit lower to the ground so something that's super handy especially on those late nights when someone's behind you with the high beams this automatic dimming rear view mirror. Those pesky Super truck handy. drivers <laughs> with those LED lights flashing in my eyes. <laughs> now there is way more space in the back than we saw in the Civic, uh, which is nice. I mean, that's kind of what you get because the car is definitely a lot longer, uh, a little bit wider. Um, so you're definitely gonna be able to feel more comfortable in a bigger space that you got in here. Exactly, and even with that greater size, it still feels like a super nimble vehicle. Whenever you hop into a Honda, you just, you feel so in control of the vehicle at oh, all yeah, times. Oh yeah, yeah, You get more torque with the hybrid motor, it kind of kicks on, that's just kind of the thing that you're gonna get with a hybrid car. And this is what Honda calls the latest generation two motor hybrid. What makes you say that? Like, why do you like the hybrid one and the full gas models? It almost feels a little bit more reliable like you feel more in control with like the gas pedal, you know, as much as your foot goes down, you kind of feel that power come out of the vehicle instead of kind of like a hesitation. Oh, that you okay, normally okay. get out of a gas vehicle. You feel, like I said, just a lot more in control of what's going on with the vehicle. Yeah, you got the instant torque out of the hybrid motor. Oh, yeah. Your classic Honda steering wheel, all your uh, media controls on the left and safety stuff on the right. Um, 
with the EXL, you do get Alexa built in, which is pretty oh. handy. So if you're someone who has, you know, all you know, your like Google Nest devices at home and everything like that, you're gonna be a little bit more connected with those while on the road. It feels pretty similar to the Civic, um, at least inside. Obviously, you get a little bit more features and a little bit more room, but it feels like riding in it. It's relatively the same. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's very easy to go from one Honda to another if your lifestyle changes. Like you said, the steering wheels layouts are going to be basically the same on all the vehicles, which always kind of makes you feel right at home when you hop into a different Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, the volume button is up here, I noticed. Why? Do you know why they decided to put it up there? With a bigger screen, they kind of needed to set it a little bit more back into the dash. It is a little bit further back, yeah. Exactly. So it's not as up front um, as the other ones were that only gave you like the little lip and everything. Yeah. Yeah, much bigger lip here, um, but everything on the dash minus the the design on the air vents is pretty much the same. You get our our clicky yeah. <laughs> dual climate control buttons. And I absolutely love that. Even with going with a bigger screen, they don't go to something that makes you feel like you're popping into a, a spaceship or something like that. Yeah. You, know, you get your nice little analog touch dials. And the screen is definitely a lot bigger. Everything is laid out almost exactly the same. Um, just get a little more room. And something to speak about, just about the inf amount of information this vehicle gives you, because it's the first time I've actually even seen this. On the fully digital display. Yeah, so normally if you're in cruise control or something like that, you'll be able to see the vehicle in front of you, even which side of the road it's kind of gravitating towards. If you put your brakes on, you'll see the little digital car display, like its brakes come on, its reverse lights will come on. You also get alerts for like if the car reads a um, speed limit sign. It'll kind of put a little red marker at that you know kind of level speed oh. to let you know to not go over it but other than that it'll also tell you the speed limit right next to um you know your digital gauge we just went through a school zone yep it even noted school is that right what that was up the there the speed limit sign yep so they really make sure you're an informed driver going down the road there's a ton of technology in this um it being a hybrid i mean you get the the power flow um displayed up on the screen um, I mean, there's, like you said, the the speed limit reads everything. It'll show you cars coming towards you. It's just, it's like a big computer. Yeah. <laughs> the car is now, you know? They'll even read, like, yield signs and stuff like that. So if you're, like, you're looking down, if you're not actively looking at the road, you're still getting every level of information yeah. you need. And that's just the, the Honda safety, I think, that kind of everybody knows and yeah. loves <laughs> that we talk about in every Honda model video we do. But... On the exterior, we do get the 17 inch alloy wheels. Um, so you're gonna get a nice set of wheels on those. Um, and also, last thing we'll probably talk about is the, the redesigned front bumper. It's kind of more sleek. Um, you can kind of see it when you look at the new the new Accords. That they kind of just flow like together, you know? Yeah, it really comes together very nice. It's a lot more of a sleek design. Yeah. It doesn't contrast itself as much as it used to. There's not as many like sharp edges and yeah. like there were on the old ones. It's pretty straightforward and it looks pretty good. Thank you everybody for joining us back here on this model tour video. I'm Riley, Brennan. Thank you for taking me out once again, as always. Anytime. Plenty more to come with the new <laughs> 2024s coming in. So thank you guys for tuning in and we will catch you guys in the next one. Adios.